Hey guys, hope you're alright. It's been a long time since I've done one of these chatty videos, so I thought I'd pop on while it's my day off. It's Friday. Just been to Poundland and into Next. I was trying some clothes on in Next and I couldn't decide, so I didn't buy what I tried on. Um, yeah, I tried on some green kind of cargo pants that was like long, but there was linen and they looked a lot fairly creased, so I didn't buy them. Um, and just a couple of t-shirts to go with them, you know, for casual, casual kind of outfits. So that's where I've been this morning. I did a few yoga videos before I did that, a bit of cleaning, and I just made a cup of tea to come and sit with you for a bit. So get yourselves a nice cup of tea. Welcome to the video anyway, if you're new. My name's Jane, warm welcome. If you're not new, thanks so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. So I've got my bits from Poundland, I'm going to show you what I bought. If the noise is next door, Alex is next door, he's on the Xbox and he gets a little bit agitated sometimes. <laughs> so if you hear any random noises, nobody's being hurt. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was quite disappointed in Next this morning. I thought I'd have found some nice casual clothes. I'm never really hot. So I kind of like loose wide leg trousers. I bought one pair of them in next couple of weeks back. But I was looking for like a beige colour. I like white ones, but sometimes they're quite see-through. And I don't like that. So I was looking for beige because I thought I won't see through them as much. I couldn't find them. I found these nice green linen trousers, which was really baggy in the leg, but like I said, there was linen and they was very creased. I look like I just found them at the bottom of the wardrobe and threw them on in a rush. Well, that's linen, isn't it? You know. Anyway, what I got in Poundland. I got some Dr Pepper because it's my favourite fizzy pop. Well, one of them. Um, that was one seventy-five. And yeah, I try not to drink fizzy pop until it gets to Friday. Monday to Thursday, no, that's my rule. <laughs> um, what else did I buy? I bought a Dove deodorant because I tend to buy like a unisex one to put in the bathroom so we can all use it. So it's for boys and girls. And I just thought the Dove smells just clean and it's not really feminine, it's just a clean smell. And how much was the Dove? £2.50. I went into my local Nisa, which was the co-op, £3.95. I thought, I'm not paying that for one can of deodorant, I'm just not. Got two bags of crisps, got roast chicken walkers and what are they? ribbon saucy knickknacks. Then there's two bags for £3.20, I think. Yep. Two multi-packs for 320. The amount of crisps you go through in a week in our house is just it's wrong. <laughs> well, that's what it takes to minute. I got some furry liquid apple and rhubarb. This one smells really nice and it was I think it was a pound. Nothing's a pound anymore, is it? In Poundland. But it was. It was a pound. It's not a massive shop this, I've just got stuff I needed because, well, my Poundland's near next. I was going to go in M&S as well, but I just couldn't be bothered in the end. Got some of, my, some of my Belvitas, dark chocolate and hazelnut, if you know, you know, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I've still got the addiction, like, two years later, 175 they were. Baby's coming this afternoon and she loves Freddo's. So I've got these, five pack of Freddos, which were 125. I also got some of these smarty yogurts because the kids like these, like all of them like these. And there's four yogurts and they've got the little corner that you flick over, which has got smarties in it. Two pound. I got Harvey some peanut butter because the one he's got at the moment has got chunks in it. You know, like the, you get like a crunchy one and a smooth one. Well, you have to layer it, you have to spread it on his little bone so we can like get in all the grooves. And the chunky one's not doing it. 
<laughs> uh, peanut butter now is quite expensive, I've noticed, if you buy the, the good ones. I think this was a pound, you know. It was. 300 grams for a pound. I think that's really good. So I've got in that. I've got these, which are... What does that say? Cracklers. Pretzel pieces. And these are the honey mustard honey mustard and onion but they're all like crunched up bits of pretzel and they're really nice they were 75p i think they do a pepper pepperoni one as well i don't know something like that jalapeno might be got the baby sun smiley face stickers because they've got a little thing that you just peel off at the back and she likes doing like gluing and sticking and all that jazz so i thought we'd buy them to play with after Ten's a pound bought these for my dad because it's Father's Day soon and I've not decided what to get him yet so I thought I'd buy these to put with whatever I'm buying these was £4 and I know he likes Toblerone so he will like them I've got Turkish Delights for me mostly <laughs> but I will share them they was a pound which is good because nothing's a pound now and I like some of these. He says the better the fries to go. These are Bird's Eye Express fries. They're £1.50 and you get two boxes. They look more like a chip than the fries to go, to be honest. So I've got two of them, but it's just that one. I've got two bags of nuts. These are Brazil nuts. And these ones are a nut mix. You've got two for £2, which is really good for nuts. And I put them in my yogurts and my cereal. Like you know, if you're doing cereal with a bit of yogurt in the morning, I like to add some nuts to add a bit of texture. So I've got them too. This one's got peanuts, almonds, walnuts, cashew nuts, and hazelnuts. And this one is just Brazil nuts. They'd be nice covered in chocolate, but they're not full nuts, they're just pieces of. Next, I've got a her mask. I don't know why. <laughs> I've got an obsession with her products. Um, and this one is, it's for curly hair, but obviously I haven't got that. But it just smelled nice and I thought, I don't care if my hair is not curly. Because it smells fantastic. It's conditioner. Oh, it's not, it's coconut. <laughs> coconut, shea butter and castor oil. I do like to give my hair a bit of a nice nourishing treatment once a week. So that was £3.50, I think. Yeah, Curl Club mask. And it says pre and post. How can you use it pre? I don't get that, but anyway, it smells delicious. And I also got a hyaluronic conditioner. I can't speak. Dry hair. So I thought I'd try that because I do like the L'Oreal hyaluronic one, but I'm sure this one is nowhere near as good. But it was a pound, so what can you expect? That's all I got in Poundland. And because it's Friday and I've got lots of time on my hands, I'm going to show you all the stuff that I've bought on the TikTok shop. Because if you're on TikTok, you'll know that it becomes addictive to buy stuff on TikTok shop. I started this because my daughter wanted something for Christmas. I can't think what it was. Some kind of makeup thing. So we all, you could only get it from TikTok apparently, so she told me anyway. So I had to put all my details in and now it's just become one of them. Somebody shows you somewhere on TikTok, oh look at this lipstick or look at this fake tan. Well it's in my basket and it's bought before I know it. <laughs> it's dangerous it is. I've got quite a collection going on now of stuff I've just bought from TikTok. It's not recently though, some of it's gone back months but I'm only just getting around to showing you so I thought I'd show you anyway while I'm at a loose end. So just a second and I'll show you my TikTok purchases. I'm parched, need a drink. Some of them, do you know what? Sometimes you buy something thinking, oh, I'm not expecting much from this. It's only like, you know, seven, eight pound. Some of them are quite surprising. So just put all this stuff away first, the, the cold stuff. And I'll be back to you in just a sec. So the first thing I bought from TikTok was this. It's a vitamin babe. Um, vitamin
vitamin enriched glow primer for, for under your makeup and it's got an SPF 45. I do like this, I've used this quite a bit since I bought it and it does sit really nice under your makeup and gives your skin a nice little glow. I think that was about £10 but I really have used that quite a bit since I got that. Next one is this, this is L'Oreal and it's a glotion, it just gives your face a really nice glow. It says you don't need makeup on when you use this but I beg to differ. Unless you just want like a shiny face that's got like a bit of highlighter all over it and a bit of well, a bit of a tan. It's a subtle kind of tan with, um, let me show you on the hand to see if you can see what I'm talking about. I've got makeup on today so I won't put any on your face. But it's like a brown. You probably can't see. I bought the light shade because I didn't want it to. They do a light and a darker one. But can you see it just rubs in like a glowy, <laughs> a glowy kind of bit of tan and a bit of shine. Do you know what I mean? It gives your face a nice little glow. Like you've been on holiday a little bit. Oops, all over the bed now. Um, but I bought that. That was around, I can't remember. It's about the £10 price mark as well. But apparently you can only get this on TikTok shop as well. I watch a woman that does makeup. Uh... 40s Life Lou, I think her name is, and I just take lots of things from her because she's at, she's like 40 something. Um, she does nice kind of not over the top makeup looks, and I don't know if it was her or some other woman that I watched for makeup tips, and she was saying about colour correcting your skin, um, and she recommended this palette. So apparently, to hide the darkness under your eyes, you're meant to put a bit of peach on first. To hide the redness you put green and they've all got different uses for different colour problems. So I got this and it's the NYX Professional Makeup Colour Correcting Kit. I think it was about £7, something like that. Because I'm going to try and do a bit more makeup and skincare kind of things because I do like that kind of stuff. I just I don't often put it on my channel. Skincare is more me than makeup, I must admit, but I'd like to be good at makeup, I'm just not very good at it. Next up, a brand that my daughter loves is P. Louise. She does really good makeup. And I bought a liquid bronzer because I was watching a woman as well. I can't think if it was that Lou, Lou's life. But she did a really nice look and it had this liquid bronze and it had a peachy uh, blush, like a liquid blush. And I thought, them colours are just perfect for the kind of look that I'd like. So I bought the two shades that she was using. I'll buy anything honestly. And the colour of the blush is oh no this is the this is the bronze, the liquid bronze. I'm not gonna open it because I've not opened it yet. I'm not <laughs> I might do a video to try these products out so you can have a good laugh. That one is Lovely Latte, but they had different shades. I didn't want something too dark. So that's the liquid bronze. And I do like the packaging on P. Louise. They're not overly expensive either, you know. And the blush colour I got is Peach Puff. I do like peachy tones. And I think they was about £16 for two. It might be less than that, to be honest with you, but I'm just... I'm just going with 16. I'm sure it was a bit less though, you know. So that's the makeup bits I got. Um, also, um, a company called Give Me Cosmetics. They had, um, I don't know if it was a Mother's Day. Oh yeah, it was Mother's Day, watch. Because this is the box that they came in and it says, no, Happy Mother's Day. But I bought it after Mother's Day because they were still doing it because it was like a, a special offer. So you got it cheaper because Mother's, Mother's Day is already gone. And you got about 8 to 10 products in your mystery box. And I wanted to try those shampoos and conditioners anyway. Look at the size of them. This is the Argan Oil and Coconut Oil Shampoo. So that's the shampoo and that's the conditioner. They always give you a matching set in a bundle, apparently, of the same shampoo conditioner. They're whoppers, them. Um, 300 mils. And I'm hoping that they're nice for her. This one is a cleansing balm, green tea and vitamin E. That'll come in handy when I'm trying all my new makeup out. 
comes with this little face washing tool. I like these silicone things. You also get a mango lip scrub. I'm not into lip scrubs, I don't really like them, but I give it to someone else. Some tweezers. The vitamin C eye gel patches. I'll use them. And we've got a hyaluronic acid sheet mask for your face. One of these long tailed combs. An orange headband. I mean, I would have liked pink better, but you know to put on your head while you're doing your makeup. So that's what was in my bundle. Is that eight? Was it eight things? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It was ten items. And that was about £20. Um, I was ordering my daughter something from Give Me Cosmetics for her birthday because her birthday's next week. So I bought myself a bundle. I did buy it like a couple of months back though, so I'm <laughs> a bit late in showing you this one. And what I bought her is in the loft. In I have boxes, right, that I keep in the loft. And I'll put on it Christmas presents. So when it's like September to December, I'll start filling them up. I'll fill them up in the loft. And then when it's somebody's birthday, I'll start like a couple of months before. Buy bits each month and I'll put them in the box. And then I know where to put them because I'll lose things if I don't do that. I'm bad at losing things. Put it away for safekeeping. Can't find it everywhere. And this is for me. I bought myself a new bag. Because I just love these ones. It's like, are they called a camera? Camera style bag. She had different colours of these, but I just thought I liked the blue one. And that is the bag. It's got tassels on. Nice soft kind of leather. I don't think it's leather, but you know what I mean. With like a gunmetal hardware. It's got two pockets in it. <laughs> Don't listen to that. Alex is rapping, oh my word. And I'm sure that there's a big handle in this side, but I need some scissors to get in here. Hold on. Can't get in, I thought it was going to be dead simple to get into. But it's got one of the coloured straps, do you know what I mean, don't you? Where you can change the strap to a different one. So this is nice, it's nice and soft as well. I don't like a, a very structured bag. So that's quite casual, that can go with many outfits. That's from a woman called Laura Richards Boutique. She does bags, purses, scarves, other bits and that. From the same shop. This was a couple of months back as well now. But I was going to show you them earlier than this, but I didn't get round to it. And it was a little bit chilly at the time when I ordered. So I ordered a scarf from like a fairly lightweight one. And this is pink. Obviously it's pink, you know, you can see. And it's got like little specks of silver in. So I just thought, they have lots of different colours of these. And I thought, what colour goes best? I'm obviously not going to wear it like that. But I thought, mm, pink's a bit like the colour I would wear. You could wear it in winter, in summer with lots of other colours so that is I can't remember the prices of these I'll try and put them on the screen the bag was around 20 something I think this was 10 pound or something like that but I do like a nice scarf one that's not itchy as well you know if you're gonna have something around your neck and it's gonna itch the life out of you I can't have that let me see what this is made out of it's very nice and soft 100% viscose it is wash at 30 degrees I like a bit of sparkle wherever I go. And from the same shoppy shop, Laura Richards, I got a purse, just a little simple one to put in my bag. Because, you know, I just thought this cream one could go with everything, every colour. Pop it open, you've got a little place in there for your cards, place for notes, and also a place for some coins. Not that anyone carries any coins anymore. <laughs> I think I have the odd pound in case I need a shopping trolley or something. But I like the fact that they're dead soft and not like structured. I like that. I was going to buy this for my daughter, but then she said to me, <laughs> I don't like purses and I don't like handbags. I said, all right then, keep it for myself. Seems I needed one anyway. Take that out so that it's getting stuck. 
So that is the purse. They had many different purses, bags, and it was all like, you know, not dead expensive. I'm not going to go and buy myself a handbag for hundreds of pounds. As much as I'd love to, I can't afford it. So I'm going to have to stick with these cheaper versions. So that is what I bought. I also bought a dress. I'll show it you now. You might have seen it on one of my shorts because I think I put it on on one of them. It's like a long kind of boho summery dress but it's quite warm so you can work for winter as well. So let me show you the dress. This is the dress. I had it on the other day so <laughs> it's inside out. <laughs> and it is a long one. I think Andrew's just come in from work because when all the windows are open so when he opens the front door you can just hear the bang shutting all the doors. Turn it the right way. It is black, it's long, the sleeves are sheer, which is nice because you can feel like you're covered up. It's got all this nice embroidery bit at the top, I like that. And it's long, very long, and you can't see through it because it's got an underskirt all the way across the bottom. That was really cheap, I think it was about £13, and it's from a company called Rusty Dusty. <laughs> rusty dusty and that's a small one but yes they had it in other colours well they had a pink and a green well, I went with black because I don't know why I just went with black so that's my purchases from TikTok shop let me know if you buy out from TikTok I've just bought lots I bought some today I can't think what it was oh I bought a lipstick as well <laughs> they're on everywhere when you go on TikTok the slip clicks they're called I won't show it you now because I've just shown it. Let me show it you now. It's like, I'll show it you. <laughs> it is a NYX Fat Oil Slick Click. Say that one quick. I've already got fluff on it. Oh, Jesus, I had it on this morning. Look at the state of it. <laughs> so you click it to get the colour. And this is called That's Major, this colour. But they had lots of different colours. And I'm also going to buy the clear one because it's got glittery bits in it. And they go on really nice, they're like, um, what are you trying to do? Can't do it without a mirror, but hey ho. Got it all my teeth. So it's a nice pinky purpley colour, this one. They're about £8 each, or you can buy, I think it's at the minute, four for 20 But I like them. They go on, they don't feel sticky or anything. They're like a nourishing lip balm, but with lots of colour. So that is it. Hope you've enjoyed my video and I will speak to you again soon. Subscribe if you've not already. I'd really, really love it for you to subscribe to the channel to see some more videos. Take care.